Namaste. Namaste. Okay, so this is my first part that I'm doing on TikTok. Um, I'm not really comfortable with TikTok. Um, by the way, I'm Katrina Brady, Mystic Brady, Mystic Katrina Brady on TikTok, um, Mystic Brady on YouTube. Um, but I am here to talk about Gypsy Rose Blanchard, or should I say, um, I did a reading, I'm a psychic, right, a medium, but you don't, you don't even need to know. Um, everything I say is allegedly, and in my opinion, it's in my opinion. I've been doing research. I am a psychic detective, um, but I am not a doctor and I am not a psychologist, okay? This is just my personal Katrina Brady reading, okay? And this is going to end in 10 minutes, I think. might even end before that because I, I'm not good at this. But anyhow, I want to talk about a little bit while I have a, a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to go and do my real reading, my fuller reading on um, YouTube. But I'm just going to do a couple little 10-minute things on TikTok, see how it goes. Okay, there's a lot of hate on TikTok, so I'm a little, I'm not scared because I've been on YouTube for years, but that's a whole different ball game in um, TikTok, and I'm not really comfortable with it uh, for actual readings. Um, I've done a little tiny cancer reading, but I, I haven't even started with what I could do in terms of readings um, because I'm not going to be doing it in the way other people are doing it. I do it my own style and I have ADD so I go off on a tangent but I always circle back um, and I hate that I have just 10 minutes because I'm going to get mixed up and I'm going to lose my place and then I'm going to get nervous <laughs> then I'm going to say why am I nervous it's stupid to be nervous but what I want to say is I have been doing readings on Gypsy Rose Blanchard also Gypsy Rose Blanchard Anderson or Gypsy Anderson because she is still married currently to Ryan okay but she is alleging that she has another man's baby in her belly okay she might I, 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 I'm not really caring about whose baby it is. That should be in her heart, in Ken's heart, and in um, Ryan's heart, okay? Um, and they will find out. And you know what? Even if it is Ken's baby, I just have so many problems with her as a felon getting out of jail when Nick is still in jail and I understand he killed her mother but she also killed the mother too and um, here's my problems um, I do the dowsing rods right I don't like to do them on air because it makes me very nervous I like to do it privately and I write down my notes in my book so basically I want to share what I got from the dowsing rods and from what I got from spirit and my spirit guides and also I heard from, and you don't have to believe me, I don't really care if you believe me or not. I am very confident in what I do. I've been doing it for, you know, I'm 60 years old. I've been, I, this is a filter, obviously, Avi, as the kids like to say. But um, I've been doing this since I'm like seven, eight years old. And when I was trying to tap into Dee Dee Blanchard, her name is Claudine, and um, they, um, I write down their names a couple of times in different colors and it helps me to tap into their energy and their spirit guides. And I'm not here to spread hate. I am totally namaste, zen. I try to live a zen life and healing. Um, so, you know, what I would hope for Gypsy is that she would just stay a frig out of relationships and stay at home with her father and get to know her father and stepmother and sister and brother, right? Um, and just, you know, she could have just dated Ken, but now she's, she's knocked up. So everything is going to go so fast. And even though she's 33 years old, she's going to be 33 at the end of this month is no kid. 
but she, in her mind, she's really like a teenager. A lot of people think she went to jail as a teenager. No, that dude was 23 years old. Okay, sorry, not sorry. She was 23 years old. So I'm going to get into that, but I feel like I have to rush. So I'm, I'm just telling you bullet points of what I heard. One of the bullet points that I heard when I was tapping into DD energy, at, at first I wasn't going to do it because I don't um, talk to like serial killers that have, you know, died. Um, I don't talk to people who have killed other people. Um, I, I try not to tap into the energy because um, it's a bad, it stays with me and it, it, it screws me all up. But I stay protected. But then I realized Dee Dee didn't kill anybody. She was killed. Okay. Um, we are not allowed to say that word. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, but she was Cade herself. Okay. Anyway, I was trying to find out about this Munchhausen um, by proxy, right? Munchhausen. Munchhausen by proxy, which is a condition where you um, put your child through all this unnecessary surgeries and procedures so that you can get money and uh, attention. Um, I asked her if she had that, and she said no. She was never diagnosed with it. This was just, this came up during, uh, I guess, Gypsy's trial. Um, actually, she was never diagnosed with it. Her mother... Claudine Blanchard's mother, Dee Dee's mother, which is Gypsy's grandmother, um, used to do the same thing to Dee Dee. She would not let her play outside with her, her sister and brother. Um, she would, um, you know, always making her rest, always making her, um, you know, take it easy and kind of spoiling her. And that's exactly what she did to Gypsy. Um, Dee Dee Blanchard... Um, the other family members didn't get a car. She was given a car by the mother and father. Uh, the other family members, the brother and sister, didn't get to go to college, but Dee Dee got to go to college, right? So she, do you see the pattern here? So I asked the Dowsing Rods and the Spirit Guides if her mother, Gypsy's grandmother, had Munchausen. And I got to know. She was just overprotective. She was just trying to... She just was, you know, some people do this with one of their kids. They can have a bunch of kids and do it to that, to the one of, one of the bunch of kids. Um, or they can have one kid and just do it to the one kid. But Dee Dee says to me, when I tapped in, and I always pray up that my spirit guides are protecting me, no negative energy come in. But I just had a question. I asked her if she had that condition. She said no. Um, I said, then why did you do that to Gypsy? Why did you make her get unnecessary surgeries and whatnot? And she said, two reasons, Katrina. She said, two reasons. One was for the money, for the money and attention, and, you know, so that she didn't have to work. And also the second reason um, is because she wanted to make uh, Gypsy have, like, a phenomenal opportunities in life. And I was like, yeah, but by keeping her from school and all that? And she was like, well, I, I didn't want her to leave me. Everybody leaves me. And I wanted her to stay with me. But she was kind of like trying to show off that she could get, even though the husband left her uh, for Christy, Rod left her allegedly for Christy, um, that she can give her this great lifestyle, even though she was sick. And she did it by her being sick. She wasn't sick. Gypsy wasn't sick. She didn't have cancer. She didn't have leukemia. Um, so I, I guess I'll have to come back. Um, I'll see how this one goes. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'll get my information out, but my forte will be better at, um, I do it on YouTube for as long as I need to do it. But I do the cards and I, I do just what I feel and I have stuff written down that I will come back for. Okay. Love you. Um, yeah, I wish the best, but I hope people do not give her money, do not give her things. Let that leave that up to Ken and her family, and herself. Okay, please.